Hi, it's Dennis Daly. Thanks for joining me as we continue a trip on Amtrak from Palm Springs to St. Louis. You follow the Trinity Railway Express right-of-way into downtown Dallas. There's a lot of rail traffic here. There's a lot to look at. And if you know exactly where to look, you'll see something very, very special. And if you were alive in 1963, it's a very special place. We're on the triple overpass right now, and over there is the Texas School Book Depository. And here's the window from which Lee Harvey Oswald fired at John Kennedy, hitting him twice. According to records, the trajectory of the bullet was out of the window and down, and really not that far away. And remember, Oswald was a trained marksman. Here's the grassy knoll, by the way. You hear so much speculation about somebody who might have been there. The Kennedy motorcade came into downtown Dallas on this street, making its way slowly to the corner, and then making a sharp left turn headed for this overpass. The rest, of course, is history. I wonder how many people come into Dallas on Amtrak using this route and never notice what's off to their left. And so, near a special place, at a very busy spot, the city's light rail coming in there, this has become a real transportation hub in downtown Dallas. Next, we head east across this part of Texas to Marshall, then north and into Arkansas, and across Arkansas overnight, and in the morning, St. Louis. They may not have been able to fix the toilets, but they did clean the windows. For a little bit better view as we left the Dallas area, you know, there's a very stark comparison between Amtrak going through the deserts of Arizona and New Mexico and what we see here. After leaving Dallas, the Amtrak routing is kind of interesting. You'd think we'd head northeast to St. Louis, but nope. The train follows the interstate all the way out to Marshall, Texas, then makes an abrupt left turn to Texarkana, it should be dark by then, and then heads out across Arkansas. And in many of the big cities, there are remnants of the golden days of railroading and what the railroads used to be called. In some of the urban areas, there are now sound walls along the tracks, just as you would see along an interstate highway. And speaking of interstates, the railroad was here first. Most highways followed the old railroad tracks. And so we head out toward St. Louis, another night, another sleep in our tiny little sleeper, and heading to the city with the Gateway Arch. I saw on the map that we would wake up to a beautiful view of the Mississippi River. <laughs> That's it. Tremendous fog in St. Louis as we arrived. I had so looked forward to taking pictures as we went up the mighty river. It just didn't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're pulling ahead for our final stop here in St. Louis. Once we come to a complete stop, all doors will open and you can exit the train at that time. Once again, welcome to St. Louis. And we made it to St. Louis, 53 hours. It's foggy here. I still cut myself, haven't shaved, and I still can't find my hairbrush. Thanks for coming along. I'm Dennis Taylor.